Hello everybody. Today we are going to use two balloons to make a sculpture of dinosaur. And then we can use it as a hat. Let's inflate the first green balloon leaving about 3 inch long flat tail. Twist the first about 2 inch long bubble. Twist the second and third about half an inch long bubbles. Twist the fourth about 2 inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first four bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the front legs of our dinosaur. I want to use this sculpture as a hat. So let's twist the fifth bubble half size of the hat. In this example I am making the fifth bubble about 10, maybe 12 inch long. And now we are making the rear legs in exactly the same way, same size bubbles as we did uh, the front legs. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the rear legs. And now we have to twist the tenth bubble of the same size as we have made the fifth bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last six bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the base of the head. And also we made the legs and uh, lower part of the dinosaur body. The rest of the balloon is the eleventh bubble. If it's longer than two inches, then you have to make it shorter and then lock both ends of the eleventh bubble in one lock twist. Now let's inflate second green balloon, leaving about two inch long flat tail. Twist the first soft about five inch long bubble and lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. We have made the head of the dinosaur. Twist the second soft about one inch long bubble, lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. The second bubble will keep the head of the dinosaur in a fixed position. Let's twist the third about five, maybe six inch long bubble. It is the neck of the dinosaur. And now we have to lock the free end of the third, the neck bubble between the front legs and the body of the dinosaur. The next five bubbles we are going to twist to make the top of the head or the back of the dinosaur. Let's twist the fourth about five inch long bubble. Twist the fifth soft about two maybe three inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the sixth about 3 inch long bubble. Twist the seventh soft about 2 3 inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the seventh bubble in one lock twist. Twist the eighth about 5 maybe 6 inch long bubble. And then we lock the free end of the eighth bubble between the body and the rear legs of the dinosaur. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. The rest part of the second balloon is the tail of our dinosaur. We can bend it, give it proper shape. Congratulations, we have made two balloons dinosaur. Now let's use a permanent black marker to draw the face of the dinosaur. Big nice eyes. Make couple dots to mark the nose. And of course big smile. Congratulations again, we have made a dinosaur. We can use this sculpture as it is, um, as a toy. Or we can use it as a hat or mask. Now Daniel is going to show us how to use the sculpture as a hat or as a mask. Here is the front view. The side view, the back view, the side view, big smile. That's all we need. Good enough for today. Have fun and happy twisting.